Hey, it's me K Mac, and welcome back to my channel. This video is basically shambles today, if we're being 110% honest. I just got off of work and we had dinner and Grayson like when I came home today she was just kind of in a weird mood like really sleepy and like wanting to cuddle everybody or whatever and she like wouldn't eat dinner which is not like her at all if you know Grayson like she eats all the time like non-stop so I thought that was weird and so I was just like okay maybe she's just like you know sleepy and has a cold or something and literally like my dad was going downstairs and was just like hey yeah like you might want to check her temperature she really doesn't look like she feels good not even like 30 seconds later she's like vomiting in my lap at the dinner table and I'm just like um so yeah we were supposed to bake cookies today but it's looking like we're just gonna chill and watch some movies but anyway there I wasn't gonna talk to you guys about this but there's just been something like really heavy weighing on my consciousness for the last few days she broke her ponytail so just ignore her hair so to get into what I want to talk to you guys uh, today about is just simply like I guess the law of attraction or like how creating your reality right so I was driving the other day and I was thinking about how throughout the day we create like as adults or as people in general we create a ton a ton a ton an abundance of white lies and with those white lies that can go from anything like I'm gonna use for example like being late for work and so say like I was running late for work like super late for work and I call and I'm like hey I'm running late for work um, my cat ran outside and I had to go catch my cat and that's the lie you tell your whoever so that you can kind of be excused for work and mind you, your cat did not run outside. However, you just say it. So you go throughout your day and you just keep repeating the story, repeating the story, repeating the story. And you repeat it so much that you truly make it your reality. You start thinking back like, oh yeah, like you start envisioning it. Because you repeat it to yourself over and over again to what you're going to tell and practice telling your manager. And then you also repeat it to your manager and then you might even repeat it to your coworkers. And then, therefore, it becomes your reality. And to me, that was just really mind-blowing because it's so... Are you okay, baby? Oh, God, I hope she doesn't throw up again. Drink some milk. I thought that that was so mind-blowing simply because when it comes to, like, shifting your mindset or creating your reality, people act like that is so foreign and, like, nearly impossible to do and, like, it's not possible to do in whichever. And I'm like, bro, but we do it every day. And it's so easy for us to create bad things happening or things to excuse us or not take responsibility for. So why is it so difficult for us to think good thoughts or tell white lies about good things that we want to happen to us? I'm definitely a person who, like, I doubt the ability sometimes to create your reality and to create your future and stuff. So for me to sit there and think like, wow, I can do this and say like, this is why I'm late, this is whatever, whatever, and make up a story about it. But yet I say that I can't do, like that's not possible to do in the future, like that's BS, literally. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, like to always keep a positive mindset and to know, like just to throw that out there and do what you wish with that information um i know that i definitely feel a lot more confident in the whole creating your reality thing and being able to shape my future with my thoughts because we already do it we just do it past tense so it's really not too much too too much difficult it's really not much more difficult to shape your future is literally the same concept so like i said um grayson's not really feeling well she's like laid out on the floor right now so I'm gonna go like wash my face and everything and get my life together and get in the bed and I'm so sorry guys again that we're not baking cookies tonight but I will see you guys tomorrow hopefully we can get them done tomorrow I will see y'all tomorrow love you guys peace you a sick baby no mama's poor baby